Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on ILO. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, so ILO stands for Integrated Lights Out, and that is basically HP's uh, version of iDRAC, for Dell or IPMI for Supermicro, and that's just how you're going to be able to remote in to your server from far away places, right? And so uh, ILO is a very important feature. There's two types of ILO. There's standard and there's advanced. Realistically, what you want is advanced. And what we're going to do in this video is show you how to upgrade from standard to advanced. So let's get going. Hey guys, it's Ben with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your ILO. ILO stands for Integrated Lights Out Management, and it is the embedded management tool um, in HP servers. Anytime you have a handful of servers that you want to manage and monitor remotely, ILO is a great way to do it. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you how to update the ILO, so if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and follow the rest of the steps in this video. The first thing that you will need to do is download the latest ILO update from support.hpe.com. This file that we download is what we're going to use later on in the video so we can actually update the ILO. In case you have trouble finding it, we will provide a link in the description so you can download this ILO file. Once you've downloaded the ILO file, we just want to go to any web browser of your choice and we want to type in the ILO IP address. Doing so is going to bring us to the ILO web interface. I just wanted to point out that your ILO IP address may look a little bit different than ours. So go to your ILO settings on your server to view your IP address and then use that IP address to go to your ILO web interface. We will be faced with a login screen and it's going to ask us for a username and a password. We're going to go ahead and use the default username and password for this server. The username will just be administrator and then the password itself will actually be located on a label that is on your server. Once you've typed in the credentials, you can go ahead and click log in. Once we have logged in, we want to go ahead and click on the administrator drop down, and then we want to click on firmware. Once we're in the firmware page, if you scroll all the way down, you can see this little button that says choose file. This is where we're actually going to select the file that we downloaded at the beginning of the video. Clicking choose file will open up the file explorer. So go through your file explorer and select your ILO file. And once you've selected it, just go ahead and click upload. Once you click upload, you will get a pop-up window. Um, all it's saying is that updating the ILO firmware is going to cause a reboot on your server. So if you're all good to reboot your server, just go ahead and press OK and the upload will start. Once we click OK, we will be faced with a little progress bar. Um, so we're just going to wait this through. It may take a few minutes, so we'll just fast forward till the end and then we'll pick back up. Once the progress bar window closes, at the very bottom you will see that it says checking secure digital signature, please wait. So we'll just give it a second. And once that is done, uh, another progress bar will pop up saying flashing firmware image, please wait. And there'll be another percentage at the bottom. So this again will take a couple minutes. So we'll go ahead and fast forward this as well. Once it reaches 100%, it will exit us out of the ILO web interface. If you look below the login field, you'll, you will see a message that says ILO is being reset with new changes and that the operation may take several minutes. We'll just wait a few minutes and after waiting, a pop-up window will come up saying that the firmware version has changed. We can just click OK on that window and we can just go ahead and log back into the web interface. And once back in the web interface, we can just go ahead and verify that our firmware for the ILO was successfully updated. And as you can see right here for ILO firmware version, it will have the most up-to-date version. And that wraps it up. This is how you update your ILO's firmware for your server. You see, it's pretty easy to do. Just follow the steps in this video and you will have no problem at all. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. 
And hey, we got plenty of HP servers in stock with plenty of more to come. So if you're interested, come pick one up by emailing us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That is sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm.